Are we on? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We're going to read. Our sermon is entitled, There's an Anointing. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Are we starting? There's an anointing for unlocking destiny. Hallelujah. I say there is an anointing to unlock destinies. And today, we're not here by mistake. We are divinely positioned to enjoy that grace to unlock our destinies. Praise the Lord. Our sermon is entitled, Strategies to Unlock Destiny. Strategies to Unlock Destiny. We're going to look at the strategies of unlocking destiny, and then we're going to pray to unlock our destiny. And I know that whatever God has said will come to pass. The Bible says his words does not go back to him void, but goes to accomplish a purpose, as long as it is his word. Amen. Amen. First Chronicles chapter 4, verse 9. It says, I read... Jabez was more honorable than his brothers. His mother had named him Jabez, saying, I give birth to him in pain. Jabez cried out to the God of Israel, Oh, that you will bless me and enlarge my territory. Let your hand be with me and keep me from harm, so that I will be free from pain. And God granted his request. Praise the Lord. Strategies to unlock destinies. Destinies can be locked and unlocked. It can even be locked by God himself. By men or women or by yourself. Hallelujah. A man with a locked up destiny is like a man in a physical prison. Life still goes on in the prison, but Nothing, praise the Lord, to achieve. A man in a physical prison wakes up, eats, laughs, sings, does regular stuff, but cannot get out of the confinement of the prison walls. That is a locked destiny. Today, wherever you have been caged, you are coming out of every cage right now in the name of Jesus. I say you are coming out of every cage right now in the mighty name of Jesus. God's plan is to bring us to an expected end. But sin has disdained Test destinies. Sin has made us falling short, praise the Lord, Hallelujah. of the purposes of God. But as children of God, we have a second chance to get it well. Hallelujah. I say we have a second chance to get it right. There are people that have great destinies that never had the opportunity to put their potential to work until they went down the grave. And there are people also that have great destiny that worked on their destiny and came out as purposed by God. Hallelujah. Amen. Destiny for a child of God or destiny for a Christian is to view your life from God's perspective. For you to fulfill destiny, anything you do from the time you wake up to the time you go back to sleep should be things that will please God, will glorify his name. No matter how strong you were in the world, if the idea comes for you to do something that will not glorify God, tell Satan that I am not doing it. Because what he wants you to do is lock up your destiny. So for your destiny to stay continuously unlocked, you have to be conscious of who you are. You have to be conscious of the God that you serve. You have to be conscious that you are a believer. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. A believer's view of destiny must be Christ-oriented. 
your choices, your decisions, praise the Lord, your do's and don'ts, your styles, your way of life, your anything you want to do must be Christ-like. Am I talking to somebody? Yes. Hallelujah. But most times you see believers doing things unilaterally that even a worldly person would not dare to do. And they say they call themselves believers. And when it backfires, now they can't run to the church and say, hey, Lord, yeah, hold him. Mm -mm. Praise the Lord. Am I talking to somebody? For us to stay unlocked, for your destiny to be vibrant, is just like a father and a son's relationship. For your father, your earthly father, to continue to love your earthly mother, to continue to love you and have a father relationship, father and son relationship, your obedience must be intact. It must be continuous. The same thing our heavenly father. Am I talking to somebody? There is an anointing to unlock destiny. But for our destinies to stay unlocked, we have to know the strategies to, to stay unlocked. Hallelujah. Amen. The place where we read 1 Chronicles chapter 4, verse 9 to 10, tells us about a man named Jabez. Jabez was born according to his mother, in pain. Hallelujah. He was born in pain. Because of that, Jabez was an honorable man. Bible says he was an honorable man amongst his brethren, but Jabez did not live an honorable life. Why? Because his mom had locked up his destiny by naming him Jabez. Yes, indeed, we are not going to argue with Jabez's mother that she was in pain. But what she should have done was, because of her pain, probably named Jabez victory, victor, yes. hallelujah, or success, yes. or God's gift, or divine is from above, or something. But she went ahead, stood on her emotions, and named him Jabez. Locked the man up. The man comes out, you see that this is an honorable man. But Jabez was not living an honorable life. There are a lot of Christians like that. You look honorable. You look rich. You look prosperous. You sound eloquent. You are highly educated. You are, you are who everybody thinks. But inside you, you know that you are not living an honorable life. Today, God is unlocking that curse right now. I say God is unlocking that curse. After now, you will begin to live an honorable life. I say you will begin to live an honorable life after now in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Jabez, smart man. Knowing the scripture, Jeremiah 29, 11, I know the thoughts I have about you, thoughts of good and not of evil did not argue with his mother. Most people will go like that, on honorable, and start blaming their father and mother that they didn't take care of them. Jabez went to God in the place of prayer to unlock his destiny. You have to go to God. Stop spending time on the phone. Stop spending time gossiping. Telling stuff, telling people about what it is does not change your position. How, since Adam till now, what has changed? What has changed about all the gossip you've been gossiping? Instead of using the time to go to God, and that's exactly what Jabez did. Am I talking to somebody? Jabez went to God and said, Lord, I need you to unlock me. I look honorable, but I am not leading an honorable life. Jabez did not only pray. Jabez told God to bless him and bless him indeed. 
He also told him to enlarge his coast. Let his hand be upon him and protect him from evil. In the name of Jesus, today I decree and declare divine blessings over your life. I said divine blessings over your life. Divine blessings over your life. In the name of Jesus. Jabez made this supplication. What is a supplication? Supplication is ask God something humbly, is to ask humbly something that you need. Fortunately for him, God answered his prayers. I say fortunately for him, what did God do? Today, just as God unlocked Jabez's Destiny, your life is being unlocked right now. I say your life is being unlocked right now. I say your life is being unlocked right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Jabez knew Lamentation 3 verse 37. We says, for who is it that says this and it come to pass when the Lord your God has not commanded it. Therefore Jabez say, Lord, say Lord, Lord, change my destiny. Change my destiny. Change my destiny. Unlock me. Unlock me. Unlock me. For you don't serve a dead God. You serve a mighty God. He's the same yesterday. He's the same today. He's the same forever. When God says yes, no man can say no. When God lifts you up, no man can bring you down. God is on your side. Power is on your side. Favor is on your side. Lift is on your side. God is on Unlocking somebody right Hallelujah. now. I say God is unlocking somebody Amen. right now. He's unlocking somebody right Amen. now. In the name of Jesus. Amen. God listened to Jabez's prayer, and Bible says he what? Accepted his request. So what does that tell us? Prayer can unlock your destiny. Don't pay any mind to people that prayer every day. Prayer every day. What did Papa say? If prayer is a sin, commit it. Commit that sin. He went to the place of prayer and his destiny was locked. Please stand up in the name of Jesus. I need somebody else to sit here. There's distraction in the front. I need somebody else to Please raise up your right hand of fire. If prayer is a sin... Commit it. Mm. You are going to unlock your destiny by Jabez's prayer. Mm. Jabez's prayer is a done deal. Mm -hmm. It's a prayer that was what? Answered. Amen. Do you get it? Yes. It was answered by God. Mm. Raise up your right hand on fire. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. This day, this moment. This day, this moment. I activate, I activate First Chronicles chapter 4, First Chronicles verse, chapter 9, 4. To 10, verse 9 to over 10 my life, over my life. Just as just you as granted, you granted the, request of Jabez the request of Jabez to unlock his life. Unlock his today, life. today, let it be my testimony, let let it be my testimony that my life, life is, unlocked. is unlocked. In the name of Jesus, in open your mouth, Jesus. open your mouth. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, open your mouth in the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I activate Jabez's prayer in First Chronicles chapter 4, verse 9 to 10. Just as you answered Jabez and you unlocked his destiny, you made him honorable. My Father, my God, as I pray right now, Magazon Tayagada Laga delegate, 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 Oh, God, God, bless me indeed. Enlarge my course. Let your hand be upon me. In the name of Jesus, let your hand of protection protect me from every kind of evil. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. In the name of Jesus, ask God to bless you. Ask God to enlarge your course. Ask God to let his 
hand shall be over you and prevent you from evil. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, ask God to bless you indeed, to enlarge your foot, activate this prayer over your life, to unlock any pronunciation of any man or woman, household wickedness over your life. As you pray this prayer, it's coming to an end. It's coming to an end. Household wickedness is coming to an end. It's coming to an end. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. So the first strategy, one of the first strategies to unlock your destiny is prayer. Go to God. Philippians 4, 9, it says what? Be anxious for nothing. But in all things with prayer, supplication, and thanksgiving, make your request known unto God. And the peace of God that surpasses all understanding will be with you in Christ Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I decree and declare the anointing of supplication, of prayer, and thanksgiving fall upon you. Amen. That Amen. you will not be an anxious Christian Amen. for nothing. You will know that this is the time to pray. Amen. And you will go to God in, your, in, in, in any case in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Another strategy to unlock your destiny is faith. You must be a believer with high faith, violent faith. What is faith? Hebrews 11.1, 1. faith is a substance of things ho hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Amen. Evidence of things not seen. Mm -hmm. So if you see it, you don't need faith. Until you see it, you need faith. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. Your faith is the evidence of that thing that you are waiting for. Once you see it, into, you see it in physical manifestation, you don't need faith. In Genesis chapter 39 verse 9, when Joseph told his brothers about his dream, who he was going to be, and they sold him and he ended up in Potiphar's house. Mm -hmm. Bible says when Potiphar's wife wanted to go to bed with him, Joseph said, how can I sin against my God? He kept faith alive despite the wickedness that his, he just went through with his brothers. Hallelujah. Amen. He kept his faith alive. Most of you, just little shaking. I don't want to go to church again. Ah, God, you said I'll be big. Look, Joseph's life in Potiphar's house did not look like anything like the dream that he had. Hallelujah. That Amen. was enough to let Joseph know that this God that you guys say you've been hearing, hearing. Maybe you are not hearing well, though. Because his own brother sold him into slavery. But he kept his faith alive. Yes, ma Beloved, keep your faith alive. Mm -hmm. Don't let anything shake your emotions. Don't let it shake what God has said. God says you'll be the head in that department. You'll be the head in that department. Amen. All other things around you is, is distractions. Mm. How you handle the distractions around you is what determines your next level. Mm. Am I talking to somebody? Yes, Joseph, in this case, at that time in Potiphar's house, his destiny was what? As if loved. Am I talking? Is it true? True. It was not only locked in Potiphar's house. It got worse. 
from locked to lockdown mm. in prison. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Somebody that God says they are going to worship. He was locked and now locked what? Down. Down in prison. But what happened? Because of his faith, God came true for him. His destiny was finally what? Unlocked. When he moved from the prison to Pharaoh's house. How many of you can have this kind of violent faith to be, to be what? To be undone by your family members, your brothers, or anyone closer to you. Put you in a pit, enter, end up in Potiphar's house, you know, be lied upon in Potiphar's house. This was a lie. A lie with an evidence. In this day and age, people are carrying phones, and carrying gadgets, uh -huh. looking for evidence. Mm -hmm. And now, the worst part, as long as you send evidence, the mumu self also say, ah, this is evidence. So, mm -hmm. without knowing that people can carry evidence now, and it's not true. Yes. Potiphar's wife had an evidence, and she was lying. This is an instance that can get anyone out of the presence of God. But all of this, it was to test his faith. Lo and behold, Joseph passed the test. Yes, ma you will pass every test. Amen. I say receive the grace to pass every test. Amen. I say receive the grace to pass every test. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Joseph ended up a prime minister from the pit to a houseboy mm. to a prisoner mm. to Pharaoh's house mm -hmm. and he became a prime minister mm -hmm. destiny unlocked yes, please open your palm in the name of Jesus Amen. I don't know where they have kept you whether you are in a pit whether you are going through any kind of desert moment, that people are lying upon you, that people have all kinds of evidences about you, that even when you talk, your own household is even suspecting that the outsiders, they are telling the truth. Today, there is anointing for vengeance. Because victory for you is vengeance for, for your enemies. Yes, that wherever you have been kept, the Lord is bringing you out. Amen. I said the Lord is fighting your battles right Amen. now. The Lord is fighting your battles right now. Amen. I said the Lord is fighting your battles right now. Amen. For you don't serve a dead God. Ah. You serve a mighty God. Yes. He's the same yesterday. Uh -huh. He's the same today. Uh -huh. He's the same forever. Uh -huh. When God says yes, mm. no man can say no. When God lifts you up, no, no man can bring you down. No. God is on your side. Amen. I said this morning, God is on your side. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I decree from the decree of heaven mm. that the Lord will avenge you. Amen. I said the Lord will avenge you. Amen. God will avenge you. Amen. In your family, God is avenging you. Amen. In your workplace, God is avenging you. Amen. In your marriage, God is avenging you. Amen. In business, God is avenging you. Amen. In ministry, God is avenging you. Amen. Anywhere that your image has been tarnished mm -hmm. by the evil ones, by satanic orchestration and marine powers, today, God is avenging you. Amen. And it will come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. What does this tell us? The second strategy to maintain your destiny, to keep it unlocked, is what? Faith. You cannot have faith today and then defeat tomorrow and have faith the next day and defeat yourself the next day. Your faith has to be what? Continuous and consistent. Am I talking to somebody? Yes, Jesus did not defake himself. Nobody has gone through what Jesus went through yet. No one. 
has gone through what he went through, all the lies, all the manipulations that he went through, all the pain, all the disgrace, the shame. What have you gone through yet? Hallelujah. And so please, I came to submit to somebody today. Keep your faith alive. Turn to your neighbor. Say, neighbor, neighbor. Neighbor, neighbor. Keep your faith alive. Keep your faith alive. Know whose you are. Know whose you are. I say, know whose you are. Know whose you are. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Another strategy for you to keep your destiny unlocked is repentance. What was the first one? The first one was prayer. The second one was what? Faith. Another strategy for us to keep our destinies unlocked when God locks, when God or man locks it, is repentance. Am I talking to somebody? In Isaiah chapter 6, when you read verse eight, 5 to 8, Bible says when King Hosea died from verse 1, Isaiah saw the glory. Hallelujah. Amen. And verse 5 to 8, Isaiah said, Whoa! I cried, I am ruined. No. I am a man of unclean lips. I live amongst unclean people. And my eyes have seen the Lord Almighty. This is a cry of repentance. Am I talking to somebody? Yes. Some of us, rebellion, disobedience has choked our destinies. It's not that God has not blessed you. It's not that what you are looking for is not there. Everything you are looking for is in the warehouse of God. But your rebellion nature, your disobedience has kept you in the same spot, marking time. Today, receive the grace to break that spirit. I say receive the grace to break that spirit. Receive the grace to break that spirit. In the name of Jesus. Bible says, then one of the seraphim flew to me with a live coal in his hand, which he had taken with tongues from the altar. After Isaiah, by self, himself, admitted that, whoa, I am a man with unclean lips, then he got his deliverance. We have people sitting in church. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Speaking in big, 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 big tongues. But still live with unclean lips. And live among unclean people. And they keep wondering why God is not passing by. Change your character. Change your behavior. It has nothing to do with the prophet. It has nothing to do with your pastor. It even has nothing to do with your mother-in-law or father-in-law. It has to do with yourself. In the beginning, I told you God can lock destinies and you can also lock your own destiny. I decree upon someone here that you will not lock your own self. I say you will not lock your own self. I say you will not lock your own self. What Isaiah did is called true repentance. True repentance. And not only that, he a man of God too. He said, oh, I'm a man of unclean lips. When have you told yourself, I'm a woman of unclean lips. I'm a woman of unclean hands. I'm a woman of unclean eyes. I'm a woman of all. When have you been honest like that? When? Am I talking to somebody? Or I'm a man with unclean lips. Isaiah said is for men already. I'm talking for women. When have you done it? You are wondering every day your eye is going red, red. Why is God blessing this person? Why is God doing that? Why is God doing that? Have you checked your relationship with God? Have you checked your relationship with God? I'm talking to somebody. Hallelujah. Isaiah came out with true repentance. In Proverbs 14, 23, it says, Loose lips can sink more than ships. If you don't know, those, anyone watching us online or in here, if you have loose lips, receive the grace to seal it. 
I say receive that grace to seal it. Because until your lips are sealed, your destiny can be shaky. Because there are things that come out of your mouth, you can't take them back. There are things you say that you, 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 have, you would have damaged a whole generation. When the devil says, oh, as for you, you say anything, be, you need deliverance. You cannot be a person that says anything. Because if you don't stand for something, you fall for everything. Am I talking to you? Don't let anybody sweet talk you and say, oh, I like you because you say it like it is. Please, add, add wisdom. I say, add wisdom. Am I talking to somebody? In James 1.26, it says, bridle your tongue. For you to stay on lot. Because I will, it's very annoying and upsetting for the word of God, angels of God. Angels are here right now, unlocking destinies. And then you see some people having testimonies, others having testimonies, and some people never have a testimony. Why? Because of your relationship with God. Maybe it's just that one thing you are doing that is not good. Receive the grace today. In the name of Jesus, open your palm. Receive the grace today to stop anything that you are doing privately. That is, unlock, that is locking your, your destiny. Receive the grace to stop it. I say receive the grace to stop it. Speak to God. Say, grant me the grace to stop. Mention that thing in the name of Jesus. Mention it. Mention it. Mention it. Mention it. Marco so te 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 te. Isaiah's tongue made him worthless. Your tongue will not make you worthless. I say your tongue will not make you worthless. In the name of Jesus, receive that grace to bridle your tongue today. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Beloved, after this deliverance, Isaiah's destiny was what? Unlocked. Isaiah, God said, who shall I send? Isaiah said, send me and I will go. Ha! In the name of Jesus, Father, you have my permission. Anything that I use my tongue to say, that will be a hindrance in, or an obstacle in my life. Lord, let me, let my, let me be mute. Amen. Hallelujah. Let, tell God that. Tell God that. Tell him. Ah, open your mouth. The tongue is a nation. Tongue is a nation. The devil will not use you. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth. In Jesus' name. Whilst we are on Isaiah, Isaiah's deliverance, I want to mention something on self-awareness. Hallelujah. Self-awareness. As a child of God, a lot of people hate to do that. A lot of people like to do this. Every day they are pointing finger at someone and forgetting that all the four, the rest of the four, comes towards them. As a child of God, if you want to be a kingdom high flyer, be aware of yourself. Be aware of the decisions you make, the things you do. Hallelujah. Amen. The choices you make. Be aware of your lifestyle. When you are aware, no demon from hell can demote you. No demon from hell can derail you. Hallelujah. Whilst you are doing the spiritual part by praying, Connecting to God physically, you have to do have a con do a conscious effort, have a conscious mind that this thing is wrong. I am not going to do it. Am I talking to you? Yes, am I talking to somebody online? Woo! Have a conscious mind, have a conscious mentality. Some of us we have become pillars, hindrances, obstacles at the places where we, we tread our footsteps. 
If it's work, we are, we, we are a monster at work. If it's church, you are a monster in the church. If it's in the family, you are, you, are, you are a problem in the family. Why? Because you are not conscious of what you are doing. There are people that, in fact, for you to unlock your destiny, you need to get them out of your life. Am I talking to somebody? When you read the book of Jonah chapter 1, verse, chapter 1 and 2, Bible says that God sent Jonah to where? Nineveh. Jonah, out of disobedience, decided to go to where? Tashis. Okay, fine. That's Jonah's personality. Unfortunately, for those that he bought the ship with, they had to go through the storm with Jonah. Am I talking to somebody? There are people in your life until you take them out. It, it, beloved, if, you're, if, if the fasting is seven days, you will have to fast 700 days. It will not be your portion. I say, and that is if you fast 700 and it will work. Because God is no respecter of men. What he says he will do is what he says he will do. When Jonah entered into the ship with them, Jonah chapter 1 down, Bible says there was a boisterous wind, they, they, they had a storm. In fact, they didn't know what to do. And so they called a huddle and said, guys, let's cast a lot and see where this is coming from. Every time there is a storm, every time there is a bad wind, every time there are things, it's from a human hand. It's from a person. Am I talking to somebody? They cast the lot and the Lord fell on Jonah. Jonah that was responsible for the storm, he was sleeping in the deck. Most times the people causing the problem, they don't care. Because they know their problem themselves. Am I talking to somebody? They know it already. And, uh, and this is a biblical truth. Jonah knew that it was because of him the storm was boisterous. When they asked him, who are you? What do you do? What are you doing here? He said, I am the son of the God that made the waters and the dry land. In my mind, I said, Jonah, forgive me everyone, let me use this word stupid. I said, Jonah, you are very stupid. You are the son of the God that made the water and the dry land. And you are running away from him by riding on the water. Bible says he rides on the wings of the wind as a chariot. And you are running away from him. A lot of us do this. We are attacking men and women of God. We are attacking innocent people. Who are because of our little mind. You are doing the work of God. Yay! Please, you are not afraid. You are not scared. Me, I'm scared, oh. You know ideas that I get. You, you, you think I don't, I don't know how to do evil. But I'm scared. I'm scared because God has the final say. Am I talking to somebody? God, if you go and do it now, and God says, no, you are, you are a dead goat. You might as well not start at all. And that was what happened to Jonah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And not only that, it gets better. After he told them, he said, it's because of me this storm is happening. The storm at that time to them was locked up destiny. Hallelujah. Jonah would have made them abort their destiny. How? They would have died in that storm. Just having Jonah on board. That's why there are people, sometimes God takes them out. And you, with your prayer self, your closed eyes, deaf ears, goes by the help of Satan to bring them back into your life. It will not be your portion. I say it will not be your portion. Jonah was honest. He said, it's because of me. Guys, throw me into the sea, and all of this will stop.
I love him for that. Even though initially I thought he was stupid by taking the water, now I love him. I will write, it's best for you to say, mm, you know, this, that, that. Let's find a way of resolve. The people, they'll be looking at you like this. And the problem is coming from them. Hallelujah. The storm is coming from them. They know where it's coming from. They know where it's originating from. They know A to Z. But they won't tell you. Today in the name of Jesus, I ask God on your behalf to expose every agenda of hell. Anyone in your inner sector, anyone in your boat, that fuels storms in your life. God is exposing them. I say God is exposing them. I say God is exposing them. I say God is exposing them. God is exposing them. God is exposing them. In the name of Jesus. Jonah unlocked their destiny by telling them that it is me. Throw me out and there will be a calm. Bible says in chapter 2 that they were struggling with that information that Jonah gave them. They wanted to keep him, but the more they struggled with the information, the more the storm was heavy. That's why if you are growing up in the Lord, you know not to struggle with divine orders a mandate. When God says it, whether you like it or not, whether they like it or not, just give it like it is. Don't negotiate it. Don't take some. Don't add some. Give it out. Am I talking to somebody? It will unlock a lot of things than you trying to manipulate it, you trying to do it your way. You're going to lock up and cause more problems. Jonah unlocked their destiny. Not only did he unlock their destiny, he unlocked him, his own destiny by telling them the truth. How? They finally threw him into the sea. Through that, God made a whale swallow him. He prayed, he petitioned, supplicated. Whilst in the belly of the whale, God listened to his prayer. And then what happened? God made the will, what? To spit him out. Hey! Because of this, the people on the ship, their destiny was preserved, which means they are unlocked. They would have died. Jonah would have died. Everybody locked up. Jonah's honesty brought him, God Listen, brought him out of the whale, and then verse 3, God sent him, and he went. Hallelujah. Amen. Honesty, integrity, loyalty is a way to unlock destiny. That doesn't mean you are a fool. It means that you believe in the God that serves you, serve, uh, sent you, and you also know that by all means, your God will come true. Hallelujah. Pray, am I talking to somebody? Yes. Am I talking to somebody? Don't forget our topic is strategies. Strategies to stay unlocked. Hallelujah. Strategies. So these are some of the strategy, strategies. And I have there a lot. We have a lot, but I'm going to give you one more strategy. It's in the book of 1 Samuel, chapter 1, verse 11 to 28. 1 Samuel chapter 1, verse 11 to 28. When Hannah, Hannah's womb was locked. Hallelujah. I told you, it could be God, it could be man, it could be self. Hannah always prayed and prayed and prayed, but her womb stayed locked. Why? Because she wanted the baby to prove to Penina that she's a woman. Contention. Contention does not unlock destinies. When it's from above. That is in Galatians 5, 18 to 20. One of the stuff that God wants us to stop. Contention, jealousy. Hallelujah. Put it down. Put it out. Galatians 5, 18 to 20. 
Anna was treading on the allergies of God asking for a baby. For your destiny to be unlocked, try not to do the things that God has asked us not to do. And be in his presence. You will be there for a long time. Am I talking to somebody? Because God does not go back in his word. He says, adultery, witchcraft, hatred, discord, jealousy, fits of rage, selfish ambitions, dissensions, and factions. It's envy, drunkenness, orgies, and the like. If you are doing all this, God that has put it there, he's not going to honor that. Let's be smart. Am I talking to somebody? Hannah. True contention did not get answers. Until one day, he made a, she made what? A vow. Another strategy of unlocking your destiny is covenant. Covenants with God. Vows with God. Hallelujah. With God, not man. I know a lady that could not give birth. She, 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 took a seed that she's never given before. She said, Lord, this is a vow. I put this seed down, put the baby in my belly, and she got it. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And she got it. If it's in the Bible, you do it, that's it. Am I talking to somebody? Hannah now went to God and said, Lord, uh, hallelujah. Amen. Let's read. 1 Samuel 1, verse 11. Verse 11, please. It says, and she made a vow saying, Lord Almighty, if you will only look on your servant's misery and remember me and not forget your servant but give her a son, then I will give him to the Lord for all the days of his life and no razor will ever be used on his head. Give and take. Some of us, we won't give all. We want, 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 want. Not even our time in his vineyard. We are not sowing seed. We are not giving. Time, time, time. We won't give. And you call yourself child of God. Look at what people are doing to break yokes. Look at what people are doing to break curses. Look at what people are doing to nullify Generational yokes and unlock their destiny. Hannah unlocked her destiny by giving a vow to God. I came to submit to you all these strategies. Once you do it, the God of heaven, who has never lied, who will not lie because of you, will, one way or the other, listen to your prayers. Hallelujah. And if not, he will tell you what to do. A lot of us, we are too disobedient. Disobedient to the core. Disobedient. God in his own infinite wisdom will use a man of God to unlock you and you will go and take the microphone and be given the glory to an uncircumcised Philistine, a friend at your workplace. Say that, I told my friend, and my friend said, I, I should go ahead and do it. You are giving, and that friend does, is not even a man or woman of God. After God has used his man or woman servant to unlock you, God, when the woman or man servant goes on their knees on your behalf next time, God is not going to answer. Not because he hates you. But God will say, you don't know what he's telling me. God, oh, because he's God all by himself. Am I talking to somebody? God will say, my daughter, my son, go and sleep. You don't know what he's telling me to do to you. The last time you, I did it for, for him, he was unappreciated. Go and sleep. This is what is happening now. Giving the glory to other people. People that don't matter. You see them giving testimony time 
Oh, I thank God for what he has done. I, my friend came to pick me up, and my friend give the glory to an uncircumcised friend who is a, a herbalist uh, themselves, who is a sangoma themselves, who when the pastor on their knees daily mentioning your name, praying, interceding for you, all of these things, if you are one of them, please, today is the end of that behavior. I say today is the end of that behavior. I say today is the end of that behavior. You, these strategies can keep you unlocked for a long time. When you do things a godly way, please stand up. I hope you received it today. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. I said, I hope you received today's sermon today. Hallelujah. Amen. Today's sermon today. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We are going to pray. Prayers to unlock our destiny. Are you ready for that? Yes. Please speak in tongues. Wave your hands at the Lord. Marco Shetete. Marco to 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 to. Marco to ba se 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 Ya koshi de 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 de, ye kata ta kati de 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 de, ilige de 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 ilige de, ilaka so so, dip yourself in the blood of Jesus, dip your family in the blood of Jesus. Yes, we are going to go before the throne room of grace and unlock ourselves you, in the name of Jesus. I there is an anointing to unlock destinies. I say there is an anointing to unlock destinies. In the name of Jesus, receive that anointing. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Raise up your right hand of fire. Jabez was locked up by his own mom. Hallelujah. Amen. Whether it was out of ignorance or not, it happened. Household wickedness. Hallelujah. Amen. Bible says a man's what? Enemies are members of his own household. Mm -hmm. We are going to first pray of any kind of family wickedness. Family bondages, hallelujah. Amen. Family idols that has held you hostage. Sometimes it's not because you have done anything, but it's because you were born into that family. Hallelujah. Amen. Your name was even mentioned from generations before you were born. But today, by the blood of Jesus, you come out of that bondage. Amen. I say you are out of that bondage. Amen. I say you are out of that bondage. Amen. I say you are out of that bondage. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Raise up your right hand of fire. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. As I pray. As I pray. I lose myself. I lose myself. I lose my family. I lose my family. I lose my children. I lose my children. I lose my interest. I lose my interest. From any ancestral bondage. From any ancestral bondage. Ancestral cages. Ancestral cages. That has held me hostage. That has held me All hostage. this while. All this while. In well. the name of Jesus. In the name I of Jesus. I lose myself. I lose, lose yourself, myself, lose, I lose yourself, lose yourself. Unlock cases. yourself. Unlock yourself. In the name I of Jesus, I unlock myself I unlock from any ancestral from bondage any ancestral that has bondage. held me hostage ancestral all this while. In the name of Jesus, I unlock myself. My Father, my I God, you have my permission. My I unlock my, my children unlock from any ancestral bondage that has followed them to now. Ilagazalaga de legge de legge de, ilagada laga da laga de legge. 
gezele gedele gede ile gezele geda la gada ira gada la gada la gada la gada ira gaza la gada la bazele gede every ancestral bondage that has followed me to now i unlock myself i unlock myself i unlock myself in the name of jesus ile geza la gada la gada la gada ile gezele gede ile geza la gada ile gezele gede ire geda la gada ile gezele gede ira gada la bazolo kodo Unlock yourself from every ancestral bondage. In the name of Jesus, ancestral oaths, ancestral pacts, ancestral policies, ancestral norms. In the name of Jesus, unlock yourself by the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I unlock myself, I unlock my children from every ancestral bondage. In my father's house, in my mother's house. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, unlock yourself from every ancestral bondage in your father's house. In your mother's house, in your marriage, or any loose association that you have associated yourself with, unlock yourself right now. God is unlocking you. Therefore, open your mouth and pray. In the name of Jesus, I unlock myself right now by the blood of Jesus of any attachment that I have to my ancestors, maternal, paternal, that is not of you. In the name of Jesus, I unlock myself. In Jesus' name. Amen. That is the first place to unlock yourself. Because if you unlock yourself anywhere else and you are still attached to evil altars, it's a problem. Ancestral bondage is a problem. After now, by the blood of Jesus, I decree you unlocked. Amen. I say, I decree you unlocked. Amen. Connecting to the grace upon my father, Apostle Johnson Suleiman. Amen. We decree you unlocked in Amen. the name of Jesus. Amen. I say, we decree you unlocked in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. You are going to pray that any part of your destiny... Of course, there are certain areas you are doing well. There are certain areas you think is a different person that is related to that area of your same life. Am I talking to you? What is going on there? You are going to pray that any area of your life that has been locked up by evil altars, hallelujah, Amen. evil foundation, Today, by the blood of Jesus, mm. I unlock that part. Amen. Hallelujah. I unlock it. Amen. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Any area of my life. Any area of my life. That has been locked up. That has been locked by up. By evil altars. By evil altars. In my foundation. In my foundation. Oh, God of heaven. Oh, God of heaven. You have my permission. You have my permission. Today, by the blood of Jesus. Today, by the blood of Jesus. I unlock those areas. I unlock those areas. I unlock those areas. In the name of Jesus. I unlock those areas. I unlock any area of my life uh, that has been held down by evil authors from my foundation. Matena Patena, my father, my God, you have my permission. I unlock those areas by the blood of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus. I unlock any area of my life that has been locked up by evil authors. 
waters, evil foundation from my father's house, evil foundation from my mother's house. Today, by the blood of Jesus, I unlock you. 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 In the name of Jesus. I unlock my destiny. My goals in Jesus name Jesus name amen every area of your life that you experience retardation that part has been unlocked now Amen. I say it has been unlocked now Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. We are going to pray over your star. Hallelujah. Amen. Over your star. Star can stars can be seen. Stars can be seen. Jesus Christ's star was seen by who? The three wise men. The um, Tarot card readers. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Stars can be seen. But when you have God, God protects and preserves your star. Hallelujah. Amen. You are going to ask, you are going to pray that wherever your star has been kept, you unlock it right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. You unlock your star. Amen. That's why people, there are people that say, what is your birthday? Or they do things on your birthday thinking they are, they are, it's not going to work, especially if you're a child of God. They are wasting their money. Hallelujah. They are wasting their time. In fact, they are receiving more curses than they had before. Hallelujah. Amen. Bible says that after they went to see Jesus and worshipped him, they made a mistake going to Herod. Hallelujah. Amen. Because why? They were not at that time sent by God. They used their own intuition and knowledge of the stars to look for the Messiah in the ma in who has been born. So they made a mistake and went to ask Herod who God has hidden that truth from. However, Bible says when they worshipped him and gave him the myrrh, the frankincense, and gold. Now God dispatched an angel to tell them not to go to Herod, but to go another way. What is that doing? That is preserving the baby, the, the, uh, Jesus' star. So God can preserve your star. Hallelujah. Amen. And you have to always try and pray a protection a prayer to protect your staff, to protect your children's star. Hallelujah. Stars, we, that's a, a different topic altogether. But we are going to pray that any man or woman that has your star or wherever your star has been kept, you are going to ask your star, say, jump out and locate me. Jump out and locate me. Jump out of their hands. Jump out of the cave. Jump out of the grave. Jump out of wherever they have kept you and locate me. In the name of Jesus. This prayer you are praying. Anyone that has purpose in their heart by tomorrow, this day, that they will touch you. They, this prayer has blocked them. Amen. I say this prayer has blocked them. Yes, Amen. They, they, they will not stand. Amen. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Raise up your right hand. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. Oh, God of Abraham. Oh, God of Abraham. God of Isaac. God of Isaac. God of Jacob. God of Jacob. Today, today I, ask I ask that 
Anywhere, that, anywhere that my star has been tampered with, or my star has been kept, you, I call for my star. I call for oh, my star. Oh, my star. Oh, my star. Jump out and locate me. Jump, Jump out and locate me. me. Jump, Jump out and locate me. Jump out and locate me. In the name of Jesus. Jump out and locate me. In the name of Jesus. Jump out and locate me. In the name of Jesus. Jump out and locate me. In the name of Jesus. Just Wherever as you preserve, baby, Jesus' star, my Father, my God, in the name of Jesus, Magande Abazanta Yalagada, Elegezeleke Telebata Lagada, my star, wherever you have been kept, jump out and locate me. Jump out and locate me. In the name of Jesus, Elebezalaga, Elegezeleke Telebata Lagada, Elegezeleke Telebata Lagada, Elegezeleke Telebata Lagada, Elegezeleke Telebata Lagada, Elegezeleke my father, my father, you oh, have my, my permission. Father, my God, uh, Any man or I woman that tampered with my star from my mother's belly. Jump in my father's house, Nugget. in my mother's Anyone house, oh wherever I was tampered with, with wherever my star, my star has been kept, born, you have my permission today. Born, oh, to my oh star, God, I call you, you father. Oh Jump, God, Jump out and locate me. Jump out and locate me. In the name of Jesus, I unlock you right now. Wherever you are, I Jump out and locate me. My star, I unlock you. Wherever you are, to the north, to the south, to the east. In Jesus name. Amen. So shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You heard Papa told us today that you have potentials. You are grace. You are gifted. Hallelujah. Amen. Do you remember? Everybody is gifted. Hallelujah. Amen. You have to activate it. Am I talking to somebody? Yes. You are going to pray. Wherever your potentials, there are some of you, you are living a life of error. What is dooming you? Doom means that bringing the curses to you, let's say in the form of whatever you are doing, is for you to use it in the house of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Like, um, uh, wh what do you call it? Like Jonah, he was running away. For some of you, you've been running away for too long. And that runaway business has kept you locked. Today, receive the grace to be unlocked. Amen. I say receive the grace to be unlocked. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You are going to pray by the power of the Holy Spirit that any potential that you have that has been locked up Today you unlock your potential. Amen. I say today you unlock your potential. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Say my father, my father. My father, my in father. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Today as I pray. Today as I pray. You have my permission. You have my permission. I unlock every potential that I, I have. Unlock every Let potential every potential that, that you gave me, every gift, every, every, every grace, that let everything that you embedded in me when I was a blood clot in my mother's womb. Let them, Let, them Let them be unlocked. 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 In the name of Jesus, I unlock every potential in me. In the name of Jesus, I unlock them. You have my permission by prayer, by the force of grace. I unlock every potential that you have placed in me. In the mighty name of Jesus. 
Open your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus. Every potential that you have placed in me, you have my permission this day, this moment. As I pray right now, let them be unlocked. Let them be unlocked. The Lord is unlocking somebody's potential. The Lord is unlocking you. In the name of Jesus, you are getting unlocked right now. Today is the day. Today is the day. Holy Ghost, move. Holy Ghost, move. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I unlock every potential. Every potential in you is being unlocked. Open your mouth right now. Unlock yourself. Unlock yourself right now. In the name of Jesus. Every potential is being unlocked. Your children's potential are being unlocked. In the name of Jesus. Your potential is being unlocked. In the name of Jesus. The Lord is unlocking you whether you are here or online. You are being unlocked. In the name of Jesus, receive the grace to be unlocked. Receive the grace to be unlocked. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. There is an anointing of unlocking destinies. God has sent me to unlock destinies today. In the name of Jesus, your potentials are being unlocked. Your potentials are being unlocked. In the name of Jesus, those that locked you, they will be sorry they did. They will be sorry they did. Vengeance is locating them. Vengeance is locating them. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. Lastly, I don't I won't tell you what I saw. Two padlocks. You are going to ask God. Raise up your right hand of fire. Wherever my destiny has been mentioned into a locked padlock. Today, by your vengeance, let the padlock be open. Yeah. And let those that have the padlock, let their lives be locked. Yeah. Amen. I say, let their lives be locked. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Raise up your right hand of fire. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Wherever. Wherever. Whoever. Has mentioned, has mentioned my name, my name into, a padlock. into a padlock. Oh God of heaven, oh God of you heaven. reveal to redeem. You reveal to redeem. Lord, Lord, I unlock that padlock. I unlock that padlock. Today. I unlock that padlock. Today. I unlock that padlock. And Lord, and Lord, you have my permission. You have my permission. Let the padlock, let the padlock lock their owners. Lock their let them lock their owners. Lock their let them lock their owners. Lock their let their open owners. your mouth and pray. The in the name of Jesus, I unlock. Every padlock oh, in the name of Jesus. Magazala Used to be, oh, Kadan Tayabadai. I unlock him. I decree my destiny is unlocked. Lock my ministry is unlocked. Lock my business is unlocked. Lock my family is unlocked. Lock lock the work of my hands is unlocked. My, lock my prosperity is unlocked. Lock I decree anything that concerns me that you have entrusted in my hands. I decree and declare them unlocked. In the name of Jesus. Unlock them, unlock them. Every padlock that has been used, old or new, to lock me up. Oh, my father, my God, you reveal to redeem. Today we command 
those padlocks to be unlocked. We command them unlocked. We command them unlocked. In the name of Jesus, every padlock is being unlocked. It's open. Open your mouth. It's opening. Hey, Yaganda Yabazanta. Whether it's from my father's house, whether it's from my mother's house, whether it's from my marriage, wherever it's coming from, amongst my friends, let the padlock break, let it break, let it break. I unlock every padlock by your power, by your power, your voice breaks the sinners of Lebanon. Any padlock that has been locked, Baganda Yagadanta. Elegizante abade, elegizalaga delegede, elagadante abaselegede, and I decree and declare, let the padlock lock their owners, everlasting lock, everlasting lock, let it lock their owners, let it lock their owners, let it lock their owners, in the name of Jesus, elegizelegete lebaselegizalaga da, elegizelegede legede legede legede, elagazalaga da laga delegede legede. Any padlock that has been used to lock up anyone in here, anyone online connected to this ministry in good faith. My Father, my God, let your power break the padlocks open. Let your power break those padlocks open in the name of Jesus. And we will return, send the padlock locker to the owners let it Lock the owners. They are they lock the owners. Everlasting lock. Everlasting lock. Everlasting chain. Everlasting chain. In the name of Jesus. You are traveling. You are traveling in the name of Jesus. Open. Padlocks open. Padlocks open. Padlocks open. Padlocks open. Destinies are unlocking. Right now in the name of Jesus. God is unlocking destinies. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I see somebody's marriage unlocked. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Somebody's promotion unlocked. Amen. Hallelujah. I Amen. see somebody's academics unlocked. Amen. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Somebody, they have put some kind of diagnosis on you to lock you up, to take your time. You are being unlocked right now. Amen. I say you are being unlocked. Amen. Ministries unlocked. Amen. Wickedness is real. The whole world lies in wickedness. Mm -hmm. I decree and declare mm -hmm. that after now, anyone in your life, in the form of Jonah, mm -hmm. that always brings you unrest, that brings you storms, mm -hmm. that brings you shaky, shaky, that person today is exposed and taken out of your life. Amen. I say is exposed and taken out of your life. Amen. I say is exposed and taken out of your life. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Today from the throne room perspective, 
It's not by my might, it's not by my power, but by the Spirit of God, the grace to unlock your destiny is rested upon this house this day. Angels are walking around unlocking you. Receive that grace Amen. right now. I say I receive. receive that grace right I now. Receive. I say receive it, receive it, receive, I receive it. I receive, so I receive, shall I receive. it be in the name of Jesus. Amen. You have been unlocked. Amen. Stick to the strategies. Some of it, there's more of it. Hallelujah. Amen. Bible says we pray in parts, we prophesy in parts, we teach in parts, we do everything in parts. So what you have heard today is part of the word of God. Use it and next time you will hear more. God Amen. bless you for coming. Amen. God bless you for worshiping with us online. Amen. This is Omega Fire Ministries, Bronx One. Our address is 2944 Third Avenue. We worship from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. on Sundays. And on uh, weekdays, we are here. Uh, we are online. We will let um, call us on 917-603-3202 and we'll give you more information. God Amen. bless you for worshiping with us. Amen. And we know that your life after today will not be the same because ours has not been the same ever since we submitted to this grace. The Amen. same will happen to you. God bless Amen. you. Amen. 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 Amen.